Hello and welcome back to TWE 2016. I'm here once again with my WWE save. Oh man, I hate to have to say TWE 2016 because 2016 was such a shit year. But anyways, I'm here with my WWE series episode 2 with SmackDown Live. Let's go. Alright, good way to kick off the show. Ambrose is out to kick off SmackDown. He says, two weeks ago, Miz disrespected Renee Young. Last week... I got to the Miz, but that was just the beginning. I want the Intercontinental Championship, but I just talked to Daniel Bryan, who has given me an opportunity to get the Intercontinental Championship at the Royal Rumble. Miz, I'm not just going to take your championship. I'm going to take your head off, you stupid son of a bitch. And then afterwards, he has a match with Br Fandango. Um, eh, it was an alright match, I guess. Whatever. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, I'll take that. Renee Young is shown backstage getting it ready to interview Miz outside of his limo as he arrives, but is attacked from behind by Maurice and is thrown into the limo, and the limo drives off. So Miz and Maurice have just abducted Renee Young. And I imagine it cuts back to Ambrose, who is just living and running to the back. And here, Daniel Bryan is backstage when where where Renee was abducted, and M Dean Ambrose comes running up, and he says, "Where is he, Daniel?" And Daniel says, "I don't know, but I'd tr try at his hotel. Come to me my office, and I'll get you his room number from Shane." And Ambrose says, "No time. Text me the damn room number. I'm gonna go get her back and get his head." So Ambrose Ambrose is pissed off as he should be in that scenario. All right, here we go. Natalia and Nikki Bella um, attack. Each other, more like Nikki attacks Natty and Natty's running away. Um, I, I did what I said I was going to do last time and I upped the women's popularity a little bit to make these segments more realistic um, in terms of the group match rating. Um, eh, alright, alright. Alright, Dolph Ziggler versus Tyler Breeze. Both members of Breeze don't go out of match and both had a B-minus match and both were carried by their opponent. But I just felt like I had to get Dolph a win here. Give Dolph a win over Tyler Breeze. Good, good, decent match. Decent match. After the match, Baron Corbin attacks Dolph Ziggler constantly. And, he, and while he's attacking him, Baron Corbin is yelling at him, You cost me the championship. You cost me the championship. You cost me the championship. In regards to last week, whenever he had the world title match with AJ. An E-plus match. Okay. Okay, probably made it for too long. This match probably should not have been that long, to be fair. But Baron Corbin beats Mojo Rawley with the end of days. And after, okay, here we go. Dean Ambrose is in a hotel and he gets to the Mrs. room, busts the door down, just kicks it down. Ambrose is fuming, he's pissed. and But he only finds a picture of Renee Young tied up in a chair and Dean Ambrose's locker room back at the arena, to which he screams out in just anger and frustration, and he just, and he runs out of the hotel room, just bolts. He books it to the, out of the hotel room to come back to the arena. All right, a, a video is shown from Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss from last week, and it's announced that Becky Lynch will get a shot at the Royal Rumble for the women's championship, so let's actually book that real fast here. Um, Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch. I also forgot to book the women's match from Raw, so I might as well do that here as well, which will be um, Charlotte and Bailey. All right. Eh. Eh. Okay, and then Becky Lynch has a C plus match with Carmella. Good, good job, guys. Becky got a C plus performance. Bet Carmella got a D. Mm, okay, yeah, I'd say that's about right. Anyway, good job, Becky. Carry that match to a C plus, and then after the match, Alexa Bliss attacks Becky Lynch from behind with the championship, and just holds the belt up high as the segment goes off the air. All right, American Alpha defeat the Vaude Villains in a four-minute and twenty-one-second match, and after that, the Wyatt family comes in and attacks 
um, American Alpha. I forgot to do this, but throughout the night there should have been like hype videos promoting John Cena's in-ring return in the main event. I just remembered I, f I forgot to do that. Anyway, Randy Orton's performance was fantastic. Um, okay. And here we go. Ambrose is back at the arena. It, it, it basically shows him driving, driving in, gets out of the car, and just starts running. Just like he's Usain Bolt runs all the way to his locker room. Cameraman's struggling to follow him. He gets in there. He sees Renee. He, un he takes the tape off of her mouth, and she says, it's a trap. Just as she says it, Miz hits Dean Ambrose over the head with a lead pipe and continues just to beat him with the pipe in front of Renee. But when he is done, he unties Renee, and she goes over to console slash tend to Dean Ambrose, who's just... I imagine he, the first shot knocked him out, right? And then Miz just keeps hitting, let's say... He works over his leg. He just hits Ambrose's leg over and over again with the pipe. And then Renee Young goes over to tend to him, and, you know, Ambrose is, like, barely conscious. Yeah. And... Mm, I like, uh, have we had a match on SmackDown that got worse, better than a B minus? I don't think so. Anyway, great wrestling, good heat. John Cena defeats Luke Harper with an attitude adjustment. And after the match, here we go. J AJ Styles gets in the ring. John Cena, they're face to face. They look like they're gonna brawl, but then the locker room comes out to break break it up. I imagine Apollo Crews, Dolph Ziggler, and Jack Swagger pull Cena off. These three pull AJ back. And the show got a B. Not as good as the Raw. Not as good as Raw, but solid B. Solid B. Um, yeah. I, I'm liking where I'm going with this whole Dean Ambrose-Miz feud. I think that's probably the best feud on SmackDown right now. I, I would imagine. Yeah, I think it is. I can't... Yeah, that's got the, they got the highest segment. Because Ambrose got an A in the opening promo. And then they got a B plus in the last one. The last segment they did. AJ and Cena should have a B though, because their 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 mat segment was a B. Come on, load. I wanna see where everyone's every storyline's heat is. Alex Stream, don't know who you are. Come on. Yes. Here we go. Okay, Rick Fl Okay, he's retiring. Tyler Breeze is money. Strap a rocket to the kid. John. 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 <laughs> I've done that before in another TW game. Okay. B minus. Mm. D plus. B plus. Okay. Yeah, SmackDown's best feud is Miz and Ambrose, which, I mean, I feel like Cena and AJ. Oh, they had their face off as a B plus. Why are they a B? Why isn't there heat a B? I mean, they had four segments on the show. <laughs> Miz and Ambrose. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. Thanks so much again. I will see you guys next time.